Good morning and win today. Good morning and win tomorrow. Good morning and win forever. In Jesus' mighty name. We have a word for you. Jesus loves you. He reigns in power for you and still prays for you. Therefore, relax because it's working out the answers for your good. Tell your neighbor, Jesus loves you. He reigns in power for you. And he still prays for you. Relax. He's working out the answers for your good. <laughs> Hallelujah. You may be seated. Viewers all over the world, Jesus loves you. He reigns in power for you. And he still prays for you. What is your problem? Relax. He's working out the answers for you. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. We have no excuse not to love others. Tell the boy. You have no excuse not to love others. That is the message that has been given to us today by our mother and the Lord. That it should be resounded to our conscience that we have no excuse not to love others. Once again, tell anybody, we have no excuse not to love others. Hallelujah. Let's quickly turn to the book of First John. First John chapter 4, verse 20 to 21. And as we progress further, we'll also read the book of Mark chapter 12, verse 30 to 31. Hallelujah. Are you there? It says, if someone says, I love God, and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother... Whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And these commandments we have received from him, that he who loves God must love his brother also. Hallelujah. That means our love for God can only be reflected in loving our brothers, loving our neighbors. We have many rhetorical questions for us today. Many rhetorical questions for us. How are we living our life? Is our life profiting God's mission? How are you investing in God's project of love? We claim we love Jesus, right? Are we doing what he commanded us to do? He commanded us to love what? Our neighbor as ourselves. Let's go quickly to the book of Mark. Mark chapter 12. We take our reading from verse 30 to 31. Are you there? It says, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, with all your mind and with all your strength. This is the first commandment. And the second, like it, is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. Do you claim you love Jesus? and turn blind eyes to the pain of your brother. 
Do you claim you love Jesus? And turn blind eyes to the predicament of your brother. Is that what Jesus would have done if he was to be in your shoes? Why does it seem we are allowing the strivings of this world for money, fame, power, to affect our obedience to God and his word? God's word commanded us to love our neighbor as ourselves. The question is, do you love God? Ask your neighbor, do you love God? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. If yes, then your love for God can only be reflected in loving your neighbor as yourself. Your love for God can only be what? Can only reflect when you love others, your brothers, those that don't share the same faith, principle, ideology with you. Because Jesus says, love them all. It's your concern in life only about the betterment and growth of your own? Pratish always says that if we want our own to be better, we should first start to make another person's own better. That if you want your children to be successful, make another person's child successful and see if God will not allow your own to be successful. Ask your neighbor, do you want your own to be better? Make another person's own better. I can't hear you. Again? That is, wish your neighbor what you wish yourself. Hallelujah. Once again, tell your neighbor, wish your neighbor what you wish yourself. I can't hear you. Some of us will say, well, I can't trust my neighbor. I don't know their thought towards me. But Pratio Shah taught us that we should what? Trust only God and love everyone. Tell your neighbor, trust only God. Love everyone. Again? Have we seen that we have no excuse not to love others? That was our message. Tell anybody again, we have no excuse not to love others. Because of Protibitual's investment in love, that is why people like us today, without smoothness of tongue, without fast leg, ability to inspire people, without proper status in the society, can stand before you today and say, Jesus is love. <laughs> so when you see me and my brothers coming out here to say, Daddy, in reference to Prophet T.B. Joshua, and Mommy, in reference to Pastor Mamile Evan Joshua, please don't blame us. It is because we have experienced both fatherly and motherly love from Prophet T.B. Joshua and Mamile Evan Joshua. The question is, how are you living your life? How is your life affecting others? Are people in pain because of you? Are you a positive influence to others? That is a question for us. People of God, we are his church. Tell about we are his church. Not the chairs we sit on, but you and I are his church. That means God's mission of love have what been assigned to us. So where is our conscience? Why do we turn blind eyes to the pain of our brother? Where is the love of God we profess every day? We sing this song every time. Oh, how I love Jesus. 
After we sing this song, then we go back and turn blind eyes to the pain of our brothers. We turn blind eyes to the need of others. Where is the love of God we profess every day? Where is our conscience? Why are we becoming so selfish to ourselves? All we care is all about our own, our own, our own. Even if we get what we are looking for today and tomorrow, there will still be need to get more and more. Man can never be satisfied. Even if we get what we are looking for today, and tomorrow, there will still be what? Desire and need to get more and more because man can never be what? Satisfied. So therefore, what will give you that peace of heart now, that rest of mind, is to consider your neighbor while looking for your own. Tell about what will give you peace of heart. Rest of mind. Consider your neighbor. Why are you looking for your own? When we say peace of mind, we mean for you to walk freely on the street, for you to drive your cars peacefully, for your children to walk freely. Consider those people on the street that run after your car every day, hawking. Consider those people on the street you call thugs. Consider those that are under the bridge. Consider the weak among you so that you can have peace of mind. Tell anybody, consider the weak among you so that you can have peace of mind. Because they'll be the one to run after you tomorrow to chase you. Tell anybody, do good to change the bad you see. I can't hear you. That is a language of love. That when they come after you, you speed off your car. You turn blind eyes to their need. You call their names. And you are looking for peace of heart. And you claim you love Jesus. And Jesus Christ said that your love for him can only be expressed in what? In loving your neighbors. In loving the weak among you. The less privilege among you. So what will give you that peace of heart is to consider them, why what? Looking for your own in life. Hallelujah. Amen. Once again, tell your neighbor, do good to change the bad you see. I can't hear you. Some of us will say, well, it's just only me. What can one man do? The answer is a whole lot. A whole lot. One man consumed by the love of God can successfully turn the world upside down for good. One man consumed by the love of God can break distance of barrier and racial origin. One man, Prophet T.B. Joshua, did a whole lot. He successfully changed the lives of the less privileged, the orphans, the needy, the rejected in society. <laughs> he exemplified Christ's love in him. He became father to the fatherless. He became benefactor to the needy. 
They became friends of the rejected. He spread the love of God beyond his shores to nations and to the world. And he fulfilled his mission of changing lives, changing nations, changing the world. And God, in his infinite mercies and divine providence and wisdom, brought forth a mother after his own heart in the person of Pastor Mommy Evelyn Joshua. To continue that same legacy of changing lives, changing nations, and changing the world, Prophet T.B. Joshua is the man in the synagogue. Our Mommy Evelyn Joshua is the woman in the synagogue. So therefore, one man can do a whole lot. It is one seedling that is planted, that grows, and become what? A tree. End up developing branches that bears fruit. If I'm right. So we say, I don't have. I wish I have. Listen, everyone created by God has something big or small to give. It may be your time, it may be your advice, it may be your money, your care, your concern. Everyone created by God is part of God's divine master plan to solve a problem. Tell about everyone created by God is part of God's divine master plan to solve a problem. That is why I am because you are. And you are because I am. The Bible says, give, it shall be what? Given unto you. The reason why many of us don't receive is because we are not willing to give. The reason why many of us don't receive is because we are not what? Ready to give. Imagine a tap of water that is connected to its source. The tap has a switch to turn off and turn on. When that tap is turned off, the water does not flow, right? But the moment it is turned on, the water begins to flow. That is when the water is turned off, it is not the, first, the fault of the source. But because of the water was what? Was turned off. So, so it is with us. What we have is what we have freely received from God's generous hand. And what we give is what we have freely received from God's generous hand. That is, God is our source. We are just mere instruments in his hand to express his love to others. Tell me about your instrument of love in the hands of God. Everyone created by God has something big or small to give. Swan so is in need of the little you possess. Swan so is in need of your time. Swan so is in need of your advice, your inspiration, your care. Look around you. There are those in need of you. Please, when you find them, keep them in humility, simplicity, and cheerfulness. Just like how Prophetic Joshua will always do. Look for the elderly ones in the society. Give them your care and support. Hug and peg them. Tell them that Jesus Christ loves the elderly. Make sure you honor Christ by your act of giving. I mean, by your act of love. Tell them, make sure you honor Christ Jesus by your act of giving. I mean, your act of love. Amen. 
people over the world celebrate God in the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. Not just because his focus that was never broken, but because of his love was not broken. Today, people from different nations, tongue and tribe, celebrate God's own feed mashah, Senior Prophet T.B. Joshua. Because his desire to reflect God's love to his fellow man was undeterred. Through thick and thin, through trials, through tribulation, through insult, through name calling, false accusation. But his desire to reflect God's love to his fellow man was undeterred. Father, I thank you for the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. The question is, when we don't love, what will be our legacy? Actually, but when you don't love, what will be your legacy? I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Again and again. What will be your imprint that you are going to be remembered for for generations yet unborn when you don't love? In the words of Prophet Joshua, he will say, the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will, work, that will outlive it. Tell me about the greatest way to use life is to spend it on something that will outlive it. When you spend your life on something that will outlive it, listen, it will live and last for generations yet unborn. So therefore, look for the fatherless. Become their father. Look for the lonely. Become their friend. Look for the rejected. Show them love and welcome them. Become benefactor to the needy. Help that wandering child to find his way. Do good to change the bad you see. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Open your arms for people and show Christ's love to them. Once again, tell your neighbor, do good. To change the bad you see. I can't hear you. People of God, if we say we don't have a role model to look up to, we have no excuse now because God has brought forth Prophet T.B. Joshua to show us the way to love, to show us the way to Jesus. So therefore, no excuse not to love others. Tell people no excuse. Not to love others. I can't hear you. Father, we thank you for the life of Prophet T.B. Joshua. We thank you for our mother and the Lord, Mom even Joshua. We thank you for the synagogue church of our nation. Thank you because the church is marching forward. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you very much.